Today we are going to learn the movement in animals. When an organism moves from one place to another, it is known as locomotion. Here are some types of locomotion: flying, swimming, hopping, walking, running, jumping, and crawling. Invertebrates. Animals that do not have a backbone are called invertebrates. Vertebrates. Animals that have a backbone are called vertebrates. Birds move in different ways by flying, walking, and hopping. One of the reasons why birds can fly is because they have a streamlined body which helps them to cut through the air. Also, their bones are hollow and light. The forelimbs of birds are modified to form wings. They also have strong chest muscles. A fish can easily swim in water since it also has a streamlined body similar to that of a bird. This allows the water to flow around the fish's body. While swimming, its chest muscles make the front part of the body to curve to one side while the tail curves to the other side. Then, with a jerk, the body and the tail curve to the other side and this action moves the fish forward. Other examples of vertebrates are amphibians like frogs, mammals like cats and reptiles like snakes. The body of an earthworm is made of several ring-like segments. In order to move, the earthworm expands the muscles in its body segments, which move ahead and grip the soil or ground. A snail has a protective shell on its back. It has a soft body and a thick, flat, muscular foot. The foot has strong muscles that help it to glide in a wave-like manner. The shell of the snail is also dragged along with the body. The shell has an opening from which the snail's head and foot come out. Snails produce a shiny, slippery substance called mucus, which helps them to glide more smoothly on the ground. Snails are famous for their slow movement. Other invertebrates are bees, jellyfish, octopus, butterfly, and slugs. Did you know the longest monarch butterfly flight was around 28,962 kilometers? Gliding lizards have elongated ribs that open like a fan and help them to fly. Frogs live in water for the first half of their lives. They have evolved web feet to help them swim in water. As adults, they live on land, but still they stay close to water. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.